Halloween. Yes. <laughs> Halloween. Kristen Venezuela, aka K Bats. If you can see me, if you can hear me, I have finally found a time in my basement where it's slightly quiet. It is September. It's not quite cold yet. We're getting there here. I hope it's getting spooky and chilly autumn wherever you are. Um, but I have been shopping yet again. It's that time of year for Halloween thrift hauls. Let's start with the dollar store. Dollar stores can be hit or miss. A lot of times you have to hunt for what you want and what you need. Um, you know, I kept refreshing the website and looking at the new arrivals, and they kept saying, you know, 916, and I was going in the stores on September 16th, and I'm going, where is the Halloween stuff? What is this giant thing? Oh, coffin shaped welcome sign. I mean, come on. And the irony of this is, I think the lady at my local dollar store probably knows me by now. Um, getting all kinds of lenny things. Um, she says, oh, it's double-sided, which I didn't even realize when I picked it up. So that is quite awesome. This is something, I mean, for a dollar. I probably, I could not make this for a dollar. Oh, I got another sign. Hold on, hold on, another sign. Oh, there's so much stuff in here. I can't even get it out. Another sign as well, dollar which I think I've really, really enjoyed the Toil and Trouble and the Black Cats. So, and you know, I suppose if you really wanted to be fancy, I mean, they had a couple signs like this with different writing. I guess if you really wanted, you could buy two and cut it up. So that way you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven signs. Hey, and you know, I already have a couple signs like this that I probably really don't put out, but you know, when you see it, get it. You have to shop early and you have to shop often. Here we go. This is a star-shaped wreath frame. Can you see it? Because it's kind of slightly invisible to the camera. Unique wreath frame that you can do up in any kind of your imagination. You see it? Get it. This is the kind of thing that you could always have on hand. You know, even regular circular wreath frames. I think, oh, let me make something for my mother. Oh. Whoa there, sir. Okay. I got not one, but two little skeletons. I use these kind of little skeletons, these kind of bones, all the time. Glitter. Shiny orange things. I've mentioned, I had a uh, earlier video, later video, depending when all these things get put up together. Um, a video of just regular craft supplies from the dollar store. And um, I get these kind of picks all the time. I have, this one was orange. This one was actually the Christmas kind. They already have Christmas out, of course, but this had these nice shiny little pieces on it. And as I said, I use these things in the wreaths. I use them in, <laughs> in my hair. Oh, wow. Hold on a second. Oh, <laughs> I got these little Halloween pens. I suppose I could be nice and give these away. I think that's what they're meant to be, little party favors or little school kind of craft kind of bags. But I also just want to keep it for myself. You finish one, you just move right on to the next one. Can you see? These are Halloween pens. Isn't that adorable? I'm not much for the cutesy, but adorable pens? Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> Day of the Dead socks. <laughs> Can't beat that. I think I've gotten different socks everywhere I have been. I don't know that I necessarily needed the socks at the moment, but I wear Halloween socks year round. Actually, I think I got some socks for a dollar at Rite Aid when I went to get my shot. I have, I don't know what this is called, Buffalo check, this kind of black and white check ribbon. 
I think it's becoming QT popular nowadays. There's been this push for, you know, happy fall, y'all. Or to me, it's more plaid than it is country. So I can definitely make use of this. I do have my Halloween mystery project. I've talked about a little bit. I've filmed uh, some things for that that I have to put together. Um, so I said I wasn't going to buy anything, especially go out and buy something for the project. But um, these kind of ribbons, oh, I did get some orange ribbon as well. I looked down and I saw the orange ribbon. Um, these kind of ribbons for a dollar, I will always use something. And, you know, for one more dollar, if I need to add one more ruffle or something, heck. All right. Orange, orange and black. Ooh, I got this nice burgundy. I had a lot of red ribbon, but I didn't necessarily have a nice kind of burgundy. And these are from the dollar store. So these are nine feet, I think. Yeah, they're all nine foot. So nine foot for a dollar, that's pretty good. Um, I don't know if you wanted a lot more ribbon, you'd probably be better off at the craft store where you can get a larger quantity. Um, or if you wanted something of a specific quality for a specific purpose. But to me, just for assorted ties, for all the different wreaths, or just if I'm doing some kind of a little hem or something, I will always use ribbon. Oh. Reindeer moss. This is slightly different kind of moss. Again, certain dollar trees have a whole craft section and some don't, but they always seem to have different types of floral sections. So the floral section is my friend. I've gotten the different Spanish moss that I used for a couple different tombstone projects. This is slightly greener reindeer moss. This is, I'm thinking, for my secret Halloween painting project, which, for shame, I haven't even started yet. I haven't even started it yet because I've had all this stuff on my table. Um, so I need to get rolling on that. I think my Halloween sewing project has a Halloween deadline. But this Halloween painting project is actually more of a I honestly think it's going to take like a year long progress. It's something that I'm going to have to do off and on in different sections. So I feel like maybe I haven't been as rushed with that, but yet I have gotten the supplies for it. <laughs> more pens. Oh, more little signs. Okay. I actually wanted this black cat crossing, even though now I also have an orange cat. Um, <laughs> but I'll take another little trick or treat. Um, I mean, okay, for 50 cents. These are really adorable for 50 cents, am I right? 50 cents. <laughs> I'm so confused. There's so much stuff in here. What is this? Oh, tablecloth. Day of the Dead tablecloth. I will use this. Oh, bandanas. This is interesting. Look at this. Speaking of, these are. Now, I, you see regular bandanas in the dollar store often, but of course, hello, this has spider webs and bats, yes please. And um, it's polyester, it's not perfect quality, and this was two for a dollar, so for 50 cents quality, but how adorable is this? I mean, if you're doing a little ofrenda display and you just need... A little table topper. This is really awesome. Oh, I had to get two. <laughs> I had to get each variety of whatever they may have had, apparently. What is this one? This one is Spooky Witches. And now, I don't necessarily love witches or spiders. You know, obviously I tend to gravitate towards bats for understandable reasons. This has bats on it. Um, but at the same time, now, baby niece has come along. Now, her birthday is, oh gosh, November 7th, I think. Wow. Almost a Halloween baby. But, of course, now I suppose I do need to embrace the cutesy, colorful Halloween. <laughs> At least for a little while. Or until I find out what scares her. Now, this is really adorable. Now, the thing I love about this, which... Horror addicts folks understand what I'm talking about. There's so many things for Halloween that are so cute that are so obviously Halloween, which 
some people love and they want to embrace all the time, that's fine. To me, this just screams October 31st. But something like this, that is a little more subtle because it's got that orange paisley and it's got a little tone on print kind of skull. To me, this is something that is year round. This could go with anything at any time because I just love the sort of subtlety of it, that it's a little gothic and a little morose, but it's not bound to one day of the year. Oh, this was in the fall section, which it may sound silly, but sometimes finding things in K is actually kind of tough to find. I've given up, I understand my name, the way my name is spelled, K-R-I-S-T-I-N. Obviously it's tough to find things with that kind of spelling, um, but even K's are sometimes really unusual to find. <laughs> this is black, obviously. Now this is just the general Dollar Tree kind of style kind of brand. Um, I've gotten some, they had pillowcases, zip up pillowcases in this kind of style that I just bought that I stuffed with some of my extra cabbage sewing scraps. Um, and I've gotten other little table toppers like this. And obviously this is not necessarily super quality. My Halloween backdrop that's over here now, not Halloween, my gothic window backdrop where I wanted to extend those black curtains that I had gotten, I used something like this. Maybe it was like a table cloth that matched this. So it's not super quality, but this is a great way, maybe if you're looking to add something a little more gothic or a little more sophisticated or dramatic to your style, and maybe you have other family or folks that, you know, you don't, again, maybe you don't want to go too Halloween kitschy, but you want to subtly step into that kind of dark aesthetic. Heck, get, you know, a dollar store table runner and give it a whirl. If it gets ripped up, or you decide you don't like it, you want to go with a different color, a different theme, so what? If you can kind of see, that's another thing I use. So much black fabric that you can't ever see on camera anyway. It has a golden sort of design on it as well. So that's another thing I found at the dollar store. A lot of times they've got fancier special occasion kind of ribbon and it comes in a smaller quantity, obviously. But um, this was something I thought was really of a unique kind of interest. Again, for something like a collar line or a cuff when I'm sewing, just something to add a little bit of texture. Everybody thinks that all we do is wear all black, but you know, there are subtleties in there. Well, aha, uh -huh. should I spoil it? No, I can't spoil it. I do have, let me see, hold on, one, two, three things here that are also for my spooky painting project. So I am just gonna hide these. <laughs> What is this? Oh, I got some uh, white birch and harvest cider essential oils. You know, everybody likes the nice generic ones. And of course, I'm like, oh my gosh, they made fall scented essential oils. Yes. Oh, aha. I got Halloween scene setters. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine of these. As you can see, I've already used half of them. Um, I actually should do a whole separate video on this. Um, I needed to cover up some ugly storage over here, and I used Halloween scene setters. Yes. All right, almost done. Dollar store. Oh, again, some dollar stores now, believe it or not, are carrying fabric. It's not a lot of fabric, obviously. This is just a little craft, craft square, but a little fat quarter of some sugar skulls. Oh my gosh, yes please. I probably should make a little skirt for this for baby niece. Ooh, see, I'm getting ideas. <laughs> ah, in my, I guess it's the previous video now, I had already filmed some things of a regular Dollar Tree haul where I got this in green for a project. I was thinking pumpkin style, but they had this in red and I saw on their website that they also had Halloween colors. Did I get ones? No, I saw on the website that they had black, orange, and purple. So I've not been able to find the black, orange, and purple. 
But I got the red because I will use this for anything, of course. But the more I look at this stuff, I keep feeling, because it's this kind of stretchy tubing, if you can kind of see, I keep feeling like this actually might be really helpful in making some piping. Again, I feel like these kind of things are advertised for those like a, like making like a big burlapy kind of fun cutesy kind of wreath. But I look at this and I see so many possibilities. So yes, understand maybe things are going to be cheap, but consider what you can make out of them for that. Oh, big shocker! Black sparkly ribbon. <laughs> We'll always use this. Oh, what is this? <laughs> More black nail polish. I will always use black nail polish. Oh, more fabric. More fabric. This one has a little bit of a cute. Boo, vamp. Oh, it's, it says it says vampire on it. That was probably why I got. <laughs> Spider sparkle mesh. Of course. I wouldn't say I'd use this all the time, but I will definitely get my use out of that. It's one of those random things where I would think to myself, gosh, I wish I had some sparkly spider web. And then I wouldn't have it. So get it now while you can. I pink it out. Okay, I pink it out. All right. This lot is from two different Goodwill stores. I went on a couple trips. I was really excited that... Um, when I had doctor's appointment, there was a brand new Goodwill store across the street, so I was like, yes. So let's dive in. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm, I should just give this to my niece right now. <laughs> I can't imagine. Oh, no, this is so funny. $9.99 at Marshall's. There's the tag. And if I paid full price at the thrift store, a dollar. Oh, come on, how adorable. Oh, yes, look at the little teeth. Oh, okay. I should probably not share this, but I can't help myself. Here is a little Cinderella princess. Okay, a piece of something fell off. This was four dollars. <laughs> it's oh, it says small ages five to seven. So, I guess we've got a little time. <laughs> okay. I am actually... <laughs> I am wearing Halloween pants, and I bought more Halloween pants. These are a nice, thick Marona. So, this was Target brand for $3. And it's got pockets. This, this was from the men's section, I'm sure, because it has pockets, right, ladies? Um, so I am pretty well set now. In if you've seen yet, if you haven't seen them, you're going to see it soon. On my Halloween mystery sewing project, I used some old Halloween pajama pants that I've cut up for something new. So I needed to restock my pajama drawer. So I've gotten four pairs. <laughs> of pants and this was uh, some of this stuff has been accumulating since the summer where I just simply perused the pajama aisle and found Halloween stuff mixed in. So that's the great thing about the thrift store is that yes they tend to have more Halloween at Halloween season but you can still find some great stuff even off season. Well we have no off Halloween season but you know what I mean. Ah, <laughs> I got a Cinderella and I got a bell. <laughs> this says California Costumes Plus. Package includes dress and gloveless. And this is a 3X. So I can't imagine that the retail price of this was $5. But I paid $5. So this might be kind of big. I got this because I was thinking if Someday in the future, because everybody else in the family is Disney folks, not me. If I've got a Cinderella, and I saw this bell, and I thought, well, okay, then an adult can be, you know, another Disney princess to go with our little baby niece princess. So, oh, and the gloves are here. Sometimes, 
when you get Halloween costumes at the thrift store, you know, sometimes they're open, pieces are missing. So this does have the little gloves. All right. So this might be a little big, but that's fine. I could always, you know, take something in and embellish. And, ooh, this thing really... I'm unfamiliar with yellow people here. I'm out of my territory. I'd look at this and have to make it, like, zombie bell. But, hey, <laughs> for $5, why not? Some people may be funny about getting shoes from the thrift store secondhand, and I understand that that's fine. And obviously, you know, you don't want ones that look old, dirty, look kind of funny, um, but you can, you know, spray clean shoes. And there's been a few times where I've found some vintage shoes that I've gotten where it's like, I will save them because they're similar to maybe a good pair of shoes that I have and sort of maybe alternate or use those to replace the other shoes. So, but, that's all completely useless because, I mean, I'm not wearing shoes anymore, which seems like a really weird thing to say. So these are <laughs> Spirit Halloween platforms. Do they say that? What are they? Platform Mary Janes, which you know these can sometimes, I mean, what are they, $25, $35 or more at the store? I'm weary about having shoes on the table. It's bad luck. I'm sorry. <laughs> And while I'm at it, I may as well get this giant thing out of the way. So these, wait, these shoes, hold on, stop the small ones, okay. These shoes were $5. And again, some of this might have been half off, some of it wasn't, but even for $5 for a pair of that kind of platform shoes, these were $10.49 for these boots. And I have one pair of boots like this that I really, really love that I wore for about 10 years um, that started to fall apart on me. So I got a new pair. Um, so again, I feel like these, which, how much do these things cost in spirit? $50? So if I can get them out of the package. So for $11, again, I can use these to supplement because my, my real combat boots are slightly more practical. They're not as high of a heel. Um, they have uh, more chunky and they have real tread on the bottom. So maybe on uh, a time where I want to be a little taller, <laughs> sometime I want to ritz it up or I just want to wear something a little more shiny. Um, I've got a decent pair of, of boots. I've been to the thrift store with my younger niece a few times. And I've tried to tell her, when you see something, just grab it and throw it in the car. You can make a decision on it later. <laughs> grab it and take it. So, and there's been a few times where I've had things in my cart where people have pointed out, oh my gosh, I like that. Ooh, Halloween. And I'm like, it's mine. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> suspenders <laughs> for $1.50. I've been looking to get some suspenders for a while because I've been wearing more pants inside the house. And now when I was younger, you know, in the 80s, and my mother picked out my clothes, I had a couple really wild pairs of, like, rainbow suspenders that I absolutely adored that I wore all the time. It was my kind of anarchy on wearing the clothes that my mother chose for me. So I've been wearing pants around the house that have been kind of baggy and have been kind of falling down, and I thought to myself, I want suspenders. <laughs> and I couldn't find them. I could, I did look online a few places that you can buy them cheap, and I thought, well, I don't know necessarily the quality. And I did see real suspenders in the stores, but they were men's suspenders that had um, the buttonholes where they're meant to, there's a button on the pants that they're meant to attach. So these were in the Halloween kind of section and I got stars because Batistella does mean hit the stars. And I thought, you know, hey, on the times where I'm wearing all black and I need to hike up my pants and I just want to have a little pop of fun color, you know, for $1.50, you know, okay, they could be a little supportive, they could be a little fun. What's up? What else? Ooh! <laughs> this. <laughs> now, while the suspenders, you could argue for $1.50, are actually quite practical, this is a laurel leaf headband. Now, as I said, hit the stars, Batistella. Here I should embrace my, my inner Roman, I suppose. This is a laurel leaf headband. And when I saw this, and it's so funny, it's got a little piece of foam, I guess because it's meant to go around your head. 
I saw this for $1.50, and I immediately wanted to make it into like a, some kind of tiara. <laughs> that is obviously like a little fake plastic kind of brass look to it. But I thought, you know, with some maybe metallic paints or some tone on tone kind of tarnish kind of detail or something, I thought, could I make myself a laurel leaf tiara? What purpose would I have in making myself a laurel leaf tiara? Absolutely none. But did I see it? Did I get the idea? And do I want to do it? All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. Oh. Burlap flag banner dollar 29 it's it spells out an eek and it's got some bats hello this is practically called my name in the store this is a halloween and craft kind of haul i've seen some bird cages and i've seen some pinterest kind of victorian kind of bird cages but i haven't been sure you know where i would put one how i would kind of proceed with that and I saw this little guy for $4, and I'll probably obviously take the potpourri out, but I just love the little kind of, you can't quite see it, <laughs> just a nice little wire, spooky little birdcage. Yay! Uh -huh. There's still glitter everywhere. That's okay. Right. Speaking of Halloween bags, I... I think those bigger totes either came from the Christmas tree shop or Marshall's um, and they're larger shopping totes and I again get two or three of them as one gets old or ripped I can replace another one um, and I use those year round. These are obviously just plain little canvas ones that are more like trick-or-treat bags they're, they're kind of small. I also am a demented enough person that I would think, oh look, let me give everybody a Halloween bag with a Christmas present inside. But, because it has a cat, we, we all have cats, but <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm probably just going to save these for myself. Um, so, how many did I get here? One, two, I got three of these. And they were $1.29. So, this is something adorable <laughs> that I will use. And you know, this is a cute design. Again, thinking outside the box. Um, I had a raven bag like this that I really loved, that rip, that I just put the raven on a piece of canvas, and it's actually hanging in my bathroom. <laughs> so something like this, for, you know, you can get for the kids, and maybe let them decorate on it a little more. This is black. Maybe they could paint up on it, put their name on it, and then they've got their own little trick-or-treat kind of bag. Now I have to start thinking, I already thought I was kind of loony and, and creative and now it's like ooh, apply that through a child mindset like oh costume babies oh. Ooh. speaking of this is a witch hat a dollar 49 <laughs> not that I necessarily needed another witch hat but hey I didn't have one that had this kind of shiny polka dot <laughs> a skull for a dollar 29 <laughs> Um, sometimes they have these at the dollar store. Um, this one actually, strangely, came from Goodwill. They had a bunch of these. <laughs> and I saw this and I was like, hmm, can I make another wreath with another little skull on it? Hey, why not? <laughs> oh, here it is. More Halloween socks. People make things with bats. I will buy it. I mean, hello, let's go. <laughs> oh, aha, aha. <laughs> All right, this is a French made accessory kit and sauciness aside, there was one thing in here that I really wanted, let's see, I really wanted this little collar piece, you know, I just thought this was so adorable. I've been trying to figure out how to make some of these type of collars uh, or some of the longer, larger pieces are, are like jumbo, I think is, is how it is. Um, so I thought this was really cute and I thought, well, okay, for $5, basically this is a dollar value. I just wanted to see how it's constructed. 
how I can maybe do the lace on here. I could actually doctor this up if I wanted. I, I've been thinking a lot with some of these fancy ribbons and some of these fancy laces how I could do some more jewelry designs on them, put some crosses on them, and wear them as sort of a combination kind of accessory. Oh, the cuffs, cuffs and the apron. Well, now that's a little saucy because that's not going to cover anything. Yeah. Last thing on the Halloween, although this was just what's accumulated here. That's not to say that I'm not going to go shopping again. I got this delicious, delectable hat for $4. Now it's got a nice little satin flower in the back, a little satin band, and if you can see, there are some spiders on here. And this, I love, the, I love the idea of this. This is a great project where if you want to make your costume by going to the thrift store, this is really awesome. You can go to the thrift store, you can get any kind of hat that you'd like, you can go to the dollar store, you can get some fun kind of spooky accessories, some florals, wrap it on your hat, and boom, you've got an instant, instant costume. But I, I can't lie, I can't lie, I am really, 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 really tempted to take the spiders off of this and just wear the hat, you know? What do you think? <laughs> I mean, I guess I could leave the spiders on, <laughs> you know? This would have been great, like, in the beginning of the plague. You know, to keep people away from me. You know, I have, I have to do it. I don't know what I'm saying. Just to fool people because of my hair. You know, like you could. Think that I'm just wearing a jaunty hat. And it's funny, it could be like, oh my god, a spider! And be like, I'd be like, yeah, man. Although, you know, if I leave this thing in the basement, there probably is going to be a spider. There's lots of crazy things that are coming or going. I can't promise that everything is going to be proper professional videography. <laughs> That's just not my style. I'm not actually a professional YouTuber, but I just enjoy sharing some spooky and Halloween oriented kind of crafts and excitement. And I hope that you enjoy it too and that it inspires you. And on our heartaddicts.net Facebook group, you can share any kind of photos. We have a lot of fun there. We talk about all kinds of things, horror and spooky, scary season. <laughs> so, uh, you can also follow uh, KBATS Crafts on Facebook and Instagram. That's where I show some photos of some of the things I'm working on in progress. So I need to get all of this out of the way so I can actually get down to work. Yay! Alas, Horatio, I need him more.